Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here in Mojave, California, just off of highways uh, 14 and 58, and I'm charging up at a new Electrify America site here at a Comfort Inn. Uh, it's got four ABB chargers, uh, the pretty standard two 350 kilowatt, and then two 150 kilowatt, and then a 50 kilowatt Chatamo head. So it's a pretty standard site design. Um, you know, I don't have much time left, so I'm just going to do a quick review of it. Um, it's definitely an important site, but uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the site score. For access, I'm going to give this site an 8 out of 10. And the reason I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 is it is kind of out of the way. You know, you have to, to go off the beaten path to get here. Uh, it's not, not really easy to access, and then it's at the back of a... Uh, back of the comfort in and it doesn't have any uh, full pull through parking so if you're pulling a trailer or whatever you're gonna have to unhitch put it somewhere else and and then go charge but uh, those are the two knocks against it uh, but I mean it, it isn't like horribly far off the different highways and you're already sort of I don't want to say in the middle of nowhere but kind of in a desert right and uh, and because of that you know it's it you can't really expect it to just be like a freeway corridor off ramp and get to it but uh for what it is you know it's it's going to be easy to access i don't think it's going to be blocked because you know the comfort inn is pretty much the only business here so uh yeah it's getting an eight out of ten for access in terms of amenities though i'm only getting it giving it a seven out of ten uh, i'm not really a huge fan of dc fast chargers at hotels or motels i think the much better much more convenient model for a hotel or motel is level two charging uh, because frankly there's just not a lot to do here and especially at a comfort inn if it were a different type of hotel that also had like a regular bar and lounge and restaurant they were open for different meal times and things like that uh, if it had that then that would be one thing but as a just a basic sort of hotel motel um, you're just really lacking in in the sort of amenities that someone would expect on a travel stop it, I mean you could go in and use the bathroom I suppose but the, you know this is a business and you're basically pulling in using a charger that's on site and not really patronizing the business itself and then of course DC fast chargers can can be used by guests but it's not the most convenient right you would much rather plug it in forget about it go about whatever you're gonna do in your room and you know wake up in the morning with a full battery rather than saying oh I need to move my car in 30 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever the case may be so yeah I don't know and then of course there's like I said there's no place to really eat and then on top of it there's no any covering canopy we're in the middle of a desert kind of needs that uh, and of course no level two charging so a lot of missing amenities in my opinion from this site uh, so it's only getting a seven out of ten for amenities for site concentration there are four dc uh, fast chargers that's what i consider just barely above average so it's a six out of ten uh, you know a site like this like i said i don't necessarily want to see more dc fast chargers but there's three empty parking spaces just to the left over there that could easily have uh, level two chargers and i would actually bump this site score up a little bit uh, for site concentration because that seems like the better use case for this site um, but otherwise like i said it's it's in the middle of the desert it's it's going to help but uh, uh, it, people are going to rely on this for travel so you know you really need to have more than just four chargers per site so it's only getting a six out of ten for concentration but in terms of location i am going to give this a 10 out of 10 and the reason for that is this has been a really underserved area you know you have a lot of a lot more ev drivers in las vegas you have a lot more ev drivers in southern california in bakersfield and this is one of those key connecting routes highways 14 highways 58 like i said this is sort of out in the middle of nowhere if you're in a short range electric vehicle you almost need this site uh, to get across the desert basically so uh yeah it, it's a it's a really essential location in an area with a dense population of ev owners so yeah it's easy 10 out of 10 for location and for speed again anything with a 350 kilowatt charger 
fastest chargers available it's a 10 out of 10 for speed um, there's really not much more to say about it like i said i might update that in the future but for now this is as fast as they come so 10 out of 10 for speed so for a total site score this mojave electrify america site is getting a 41 out of 50. now that's a basic b and you know i would say this is a basic site it's important which is why it's getting such a high score uh, but yeah, you, you kind of do want to see more out of these charging sites, like I said, and maybe making sure that they're tailored a little bit better for the needs of the business that's hosting them, because that creates a win-win, um, and you don't want to have, you know, build up animosity with, like, the host businesses or whatever. So, I'd love to hear what you think. Have you used this uh, charger before? Do you need this charger to get, like, say from Bakersfield uh, into Las Vegas or other places like that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.